everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's grocery haul. So this week we have done our shopping in Tesco, so I'm going to go through everything that we've got and then at the end of the video, as always, I'm going to go through our meal plan as well. So if you like these kind of videos, then I do post them every single Friday, so I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. And if you are new, then hello, I'm Helen and I'm a first time mum, so I actually set up this channel to kind of document, well, actually I started it when we were trying to conceive pregnancy and just my journey to becoming a mum and being a mum. So I do post videos about motherhood on Wednesdays and Sundays as well, but just kind of a whole host of things really. I also do some cleaning videos and other hauls as well. So if you like the look of my channel, I would love for you to subscribe to me. It does really, really mean a lot to me. And as always, don't forget to say hello in the comments because I always get these people watching and I never know who you are. So I would love to have a chat to you. But anyway, yes, let's get on with this week's grocery haul and I'll see you in after for the meal plan. So this is what our shopping looks like this week. So we have bought a fair few things. It was quite a big shop. My husband picked it up last night from Tesco. So I'm going to start off this end and we have a lot of Weetabix. So we've got a pack of 48 plus a pack of 24. We just go through them, me and my husband, we do like to have porridge, but it's kind of becoming more of a weekend thing. We don't often have it in the week just because it does take that bit longer. And my son also really likes Weetabix, so we're just going through them loads. So we made sure we stocked up because we did actually run out this week, unfortunately. So then we've got some Rice Krispies and some Corn Flakes, which tend to be like our evening cereals. And then I've got like some music in the cupboard as well. So yeah, lots of cereals there. We needed some toilet rolls and also some toothpaste there. We've got three loaves of bread here. So we've got one white loaf, which is for my son. And that lasts quite a long time, actually. So we'll just like freeze that, of course. And then we've got two kind of more fresh loaves, which are really nice. And again, we'll obviously have to freeze these at some point but we'll try and use them. We'll probably use that one first, I think. But yeah, it's just really nice when you have like eggs on toast or um, what else do we have it with? Or like, you know, even like in the evening, if you want it with some butter and jam, when it's crusty, it's just, it's just a bit nicer. So yeah, we have got two loaves of that this week. And then next up, I've just put out our snacks. So quite a lot, I think. We've got two packs of ready salted crisps. Now these, I don't think we've ever had these before. They're, I think it's only available at Tesco. Yeah, it's just like some cheap ones, but they seemed like fine, so we just thought we'd give them a go. Those crisps always tend to taste the same, don't they? So I'm sure they'll be absolutely fine. We've got these, um, they're kind of like crackers, but they're really nice, so that'd be nice for a little treat in the evening. I haven't got hummus this week, which would have been nice to have it with, I suppose, but just like plain or with butter or something or with cheese, just a nice little snack there. We've got two packs of these bars, which was actually a mistake. We were meant to only get one, but never mind. And these are my favourite bars, so I'm quite pleased actually that we have got two. Just got to be careful not to eat them too fast. And then we've also got some of these, which are actually like children's bars. Now, I personally, I don't know about you, if you've got a baby, it does say they're suitable for 12 months, but sometimes these catch in my throat and I just don't, I don't know. I wouldn't personally, I'm not going to give them to Arthur, even though technically you can have them. Um, but yeah, that's just how I feel. But they just catch in my throat. So yeah, I just worry about that kind of thing. But I do enjoy them. And I think we made our own kind of um, naked bar balls last week. We've run out of ingredients because we've not got enough coconut. So we just wanted to buy some bars because we haven't got like our own ones, homemade ones. And then sweet treat wise, we've got some shortbread fingers there. We've got some chocolate chips and also white chocolate and dark chocolate. So that lot of chocolate is actually for some brownies that we're going to make. We did make brownies a couple of weeks ago, which were really, really nice. So we want to make them again. We are, I think we're going to do our next shop, I think is, uh, is it Sabres or Waitrose? So we just thought we would get chocolate from Tesco because it's cheaper. But we're actually going to make it like after our next shop, if that makes sense. And we've got a couple of packs of their buttons. My husband spotted these, which obviously they're not like particularly like healthy, just a little treat. But like ingredient wise, they've got nothing too like bad in them, if that makes sense. Nothing like horrible, so no horrible preservatives or whatever. So we thought we would give those a go and they were pretty cheap as well. 
And then lastly, we have milk chocolate viennese thins, which I love this type of biscuit. They're really, really good. So that's that. And then on to some things for like our store cupboard. We needed some more stock cubes. So we get the very low salt ones because of course, well, we like to have a little salt as possible, but obviously for my son Arthur. So if you don't know, he is, oh, well, nearly 14 months, which is crazy. But yeah, obviously you've got to be careful with the salt intake. So we got those. Needed some more lemon flavoring, lemon, is it called like lemon oil, natural extract, lemon extract, um, for those bars that we make, balls that we make, which not this week, but I think you, we can't find this anywhere else. So that's why we always get that from Tesco. And then we've got four cans of baked beans. We always have baked beans on toast for lunch, maybe even at twice in the week actually. And then we'll have it like with pizza and things. So we always need our beans. I'm trying Tesco's own uh, vegan mayonnaise there. I think, I don't think I've tried this before. I've tried own makes, well, I don't know, somewhere else and it was fine. Usually they're okay. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give that a go this week. And we also needed some more oil there. So we've got that one. We've got some passata there and also two cans of chopped tomatoes. We always have, I know I said this before, we always have this in the cupboard anyway. So we've just always got like a supply because you'll hear my meal plan anyway. We just go through that loads. So then on to the fruit and veg and we have got a lot. We usually do tend to have a lot and this week, we ran out of fruit actually it is quite hard when you buy fresh fruit like it does tend to just either go go off anyway or you just eat it all so i think next week we, we're going to start buying some frozen fruit just to kind of like have at the end of the week and just like stir it into my son's porridge and things like that okay but anyway what we have got is a big pack of potatoes and then another pack of potatoes so we have potatoes a lot in the week just as they are or we make chips and wedges from them We've also got some sweet potatoes there too. We've got a pack of carrots. We've got some red onions there and a cabbage, which we don't buy always every week, but we thought we'd do that this week. And I've also got some tomatoes there. So fruit there, we've got a pack of blueberries and a pack of raspberries. And the date on them isn't, isn't brilliant. And Obviously, you don't get loads of raspberries. You do get so many blueberries, but then they tend to. We kind of like ration them so that we don't run out, but then they tend to go off before we finish them anyway, if that makes sense. So yeah, I think buying frozen blueberries or something would be quite good for us. We've got some pears there, which are for my son. So we tend to steam them, blend them, and then freeze it like a puree. And then I can kind of stir it into his Weetabix or porridge. That works re really well. And we've also got a pack of apples. We've got some grapes there, which we all, we all have these just as a snack. And then we've got lots of bananas too. I thought I'd buy some cucumber this week, so I just got a half one. Um, I've never actually given my son cucumber, so I'm gonna try and see how he does with this. Um, I'll probably end up, I'm not sure how to cut, I don't wanna do it in sticks because he's got a lot of teeth now and he tends to be like chomping things. It's always, yeah, weeding is such a scary business sometimes. <laughs> Anyway, that's that. And then we've also got loads of broccoli here because we, as I will say, we do go through such a lot of broccoli, just like, yeah, we just eat it all the time. So that's all of our fruit and veg. And then onto the fridge and freezer section, we have our milk. So I've got two rice milks there. We've got a whole milk for my son and some semi skim milk too. I think, I hope we've got enough actually, because I think we will want to use milk for um, a lasagna that we're going to make. And then we've also got two coconut milks there. Then I've got some plain yogurt and I think hopefully we're going to have a curry this week. So I'll just have a dollop of that on the side and then I'll also have that. Actually, last time I had this, I was actually, I've got some honey in the cupboard and I was putting some honey in with some seeds and it was tasting really, really nice. So I might do that again. And then my husband's got his rhubarb yogurt there. We've got some corn slices there. We've got some paninis in the freezer. So that'd be nice in a panini with some cheese too. We've got loads of eggs, 18 eggs, because we have them for lunch. We might have it with tea sometimes um like i make pancakes and things or other things that i make for arthur we just go through loads 
we've got some fluffles there for a snack and also some cheese for my husband and then also some butter which i think this is either for brownies i think you i think last i think last time we did did this we used it was just enough to make brownies and also the white sauce for the lasagna so i expect that's probably what we'll be doing again and this week this is a bit of a treat we bought some brioche dough so oh yeah i've just realized that's what those chocolate chips are for sorry i think yeah that's what the chocolate chips were for, for i think to put in there so we can make chocolate brioche so yeah that's gonna be a bit different so i don't know if we'll make that this week it depends when we get time but i'm really looking forward to that that's quite exciting and then i've got some tofu again and also we've bought some soup we do we have been making our soup quite a lot for lunch but it's just nice maybe i don't know like once every like three or four weeks just to buy it ready made because it does take a little time but yeah we've got some of that this week we've needed some frozen peas and we've also got some of tesco's own soya mints there which we do tend to have in quite a lot of meals I've got these fish cakes again which I'm always pleased about when they have them in stock because they are so so good I honestly recommend these if you're thinking about giving up fish or you don't eat fish you're vegetarian or vegan then I would really really recommend these ones they're really really good um and then we've got Tesco's um chicken style pieces which are wheat and pea, pea protein I can't remember if we've had these before you probably know better than me actually if you've been watching my grocery hauls I don't think we have I think that's a new thing but yeah just instead of having like corn pieces one time and then we've got uh two toad in the holes there they're like a bit battered they've actually been in our freezer this was as I said this was last night we picked this up so I've had to get it out so yeah, we've got two toad in the holes and then the last thing that we bought were some sausages which these are always really really good they're like quite a plain sausage but they are really tasty so yes that is absolutely everything that we have bought this week at tesco so as i said this week we are going to make lasagna again we made that a couple of weeks ago and it was really really nice so i made it actually so we'll just have that with the soya mints that we've bought this week like chopped tomatoes we'll put a stock cube in there some onions as well and yeah it's just really really nice obviously we make our own sauce and make it from scratch apart from the actual pasta sheets but yeah we really really enjoy that and we'll just have that with some peas we don't have any garlic bread or anything this week so yeah that's the first meal and then what else have we got we've got toad in the hole which we actually went a long time without having but we do really enjoy that so that would be our meal with like normal potato probably sweet potato as well and then all of the vegetables that we've got like the broccoli peas carrots and cabbage i think we've got this week and i know that i say we usually tend to get the same sort of vegetables every single week but that's just the ones that we like the best i suppose so that is the second meal now for our third meal i'm not sure we'll probably either have one or the other of paella or the heaters it just depends what we feel like really we tend to not have both of those meal meals in the same week because they're they're not like really the same but they're kind of similar obviously they're both quite spicy they both involve quite a lot of frying which we don't like to do for too many meals but yeah for a paella obviously we will have that with obviously it's rice and we'll have sausages fried onions peas broccoli as well i just realized we didn't get a pepper this week never mind and then for fajitas it's kind of the same thing so we'll either have like corn pieces or you know like fake chicken pieces like what we got this week and with chopped tomatoes and with onions as well so yeah those meals are kind of fairly similar in a way so we'll just have one or the other we'll just decide at the time um and then we're also going to have fish cakes i'll have fish cakes and my husband will probably have he's got fish i think um fish fingers so we'll just have that you know sometimes you just want a meal that's quite like quick and easy and simple to do so it's always nice to have a meal like that so i'll probably have that with maybe some homemade chips or something and then peas and probably a bit of broccoli as well and i think this week we might make a curry we've got coconut cream we didn't make one last week a couple of weeks ago i think we last made one so again we'll have that with just with corn pieces coconut cream chopped tomatoes and onions so you see what i mean we don't want too many like onions and like frying stuff so yeah but anyway that's another meal this week next will be my tofu so i think i don't know if i i didn't get it out but i think i'm sure my husband must have bought fresh fish as well but that must still be in the freezer so yeah we, i think i think we bought that as well unless he's got some left over from another time maybe but he'll have actual fish and then i'll have just my tofu 
and we'll have that with potatoes, maybe like boiled potatoes or a mash or something like that. And again, just with some vegetables and my son can have that as well. Um, and sometimes if it's a bit dry, sometimes for him, like I'll cook up a bit of passata just to make it a bit wetter, but I think I might even try that for myself actually this week. That's a good idea. Just thought of it then. And then the very last meal, as you will know if you watch my channel, is pizza. So we do have pizza dough in the freezer because I think, oh, I don't know, I can't remember, we buy it every so often now. And we did buy a Waitrose actual pizza base. Was that last week? I can't remember. It always gets a bit confusing because I usually film, usually get the shopping on a Friday, I film it on the Saturday and then the actual food haul comes on my YouTube on Friday. So it's always a bit confusing that, and this week. My food haul actually went live, is going live tomorrow, Sunday, so yeah, which will be last week for you. So I always get completely confused, like what week is what and what I've said and what meals we've had is just all a bit of a muddle in my, bra in my brain, too much. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking. So those are all the meals of the week, so I hope that you enjoyed listening to them. And do let me know what meal ideas you have. I always like to look for more meal ideas, but we tend to just kind of stick to the same maybe like, I don't know, like 10... 12 meals or something like that we don't vary up too much but i am going to try and make a little bit more effort and i think definitely since having arthur or since he's been eating more it's kind of encouraging me to like look for different things for us to eat but yeah let me know what your favorite meals are as well and hopefully we can get some inspiration from them but thank you so so much for watching this grocery haul i really hope that you enjoyed it don't forget to click subscribe and hit the little notification bell so that you get notified every time that i post and yes, I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.